All right, we're back. We have some calls of the day we want to do. Uh, retail edition, if you will. Uh, Estee Lauder, Steph. Uh, Berenberg upgrades it today to a buy. 243 is the price target. What's your take here? It's, been, stock. it's been a terrible stock. It was a terrible 25 quarter. 25% down year to date. Terrible quarter last quarter. But the problem is they've now missed the last three quarters and guided down. And a lot of it has to do with supply chain issues, but also China just beginning to reopen and travel retail, which is 70 to 80% done in Asia, being down 43%. But how much quarter. bad news you feel like absorbing? Well, that... Well, well, no, I actually think eventually they'll get it right. I mean, because X travel retail sales rose 10% in the last quarter. So you got to get this China thing fixed. It's about 30% of total revenue, and it's a big growth driver for the overall company. So I still like it. I'm staying patient, frustrated for sure, but I think numbers have come down and sentiment has come down enough. And it's an easy uh, hurdle to get, to get over. What about TJX? Matthew Boss, JPM, he's the number one retail analyst. He says TJX is best positioned to capture trade down demand overweight 96 bucks is is the price target yeah they definitely will benefit from trade down they'll also benefit from a recovery in new home sales which actually are at highs that not seen since last march because they have a home goods and home sense and they also benefit from all the excess inventory that's in the system um i think they can do two to three percent comps over the long term i think gross margins have upside due to freight costs coming down so i still like it not cheap but i still like it for the long term joe matt boss also puts dollar general on the focus list as a growth idea he had removed it in january so it's back target 187 overweights the rating smart man to have removed it now putting <laughs> it back on i hope he's right uh, it, it's something that is a one of the seven consumer staple names that is in the JOT ETF, and it is the worst performing consumer staple name mm -hmm. in the JOT ETF. Costco is the best performing one. Um, so this is a company that has had significant challenges, both fundamentally and technically. Uh, kudos to Matt for removing it initially. I hope he's right from here. How long has it been in the JOT? It's been in the JOT since last year. Since last year, okay. Um, all right, it's down 33 and a half percent year to date. Stay tuned. It's going to take a while. <laughs> it's going to take a while. It's an investment. I can't, it's, an I can't investment. Help. it's an investment cycle you year. Speed up I can't help myself. <laughs> I couldn't help myself either. The tough chart. 